center, Mark Curry, Sanders Fryson. 6'7", 265, senior from Portland, Oregon. First career double-double, monster effort, career-high 15 points to go along with the career-high tying 10 rebounds against Northridge on Tuesday. The backcourt, Gary Franklin, the off-guard, the 6'2 freshman from Santa Ana, California. Franklin, seven points Tuesday night. And the point guard coming off a career-high 18 points and a career-best eight assists. 6'3 junior Jorge Gutierrez from Chihuahua, Mexico. Fort California rounds out the starting five. It is Crab Camp, Sanders Fryson, Franklin, and Gutierrez. The Bears wearing the gold tonight with the blue numbers and the white trim. They'll go from left to right in this first half. For New Mexico, they were traveling red with the silver and white trim and the silver numbers for the Lobos. Intimate gathering here tonight on this Saturday night. The rain may have kept some people away. Apparently, uh, some of the students couldn't do a doubleheader, but maybe we're yeah. able to do the, uh, you know. College kids need to learn to pace themselves, I think. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Do the, do the doubles. Our officials, Mike Littlewood, Michael Irving, and Scott Twardowski will work this game tonight. Camp will jump center against Hardeman to get this thing started. Mike Littlewood getting set to put the ball up into the air. New Mexico 2-0, and 1-0 yeah, for the Bears. It's early season for them, too. And now they stop play as the clock had not started yet. And I think Gary brought it up the left side. I think they had to just start all over with the toss of the ball. He tossed it, you know, clearly in the benefit of of uh, New Mexico and uh, Harper had no chance to win that tip at all. Lobo stealing a tip. They have it first. Michael Irving here at the scores table getting it squared away. Cal all time 35 and 25 against teams from the Mountain West Conference. While the Lobos 112 and 146 all time against Pac-10 opponents. Most of those scores coming against the Arizona schools. Exactly. Uh, I don't know why they just don't give New Mexico the ball at half court and just go back to 20 minutes and 35 on the shot clock. That's the easy way to do it instead of burning off three inconsequential seconds. Game two of the season. Lobos have the ball. Now they got everything squared away. Near midcourt, left sideline, Kendall Williams, the freshman from Rancho Cucamonga, will play it in. Four assists in each of the first two games, and he enters it in the backcourt. Here comes Therese Gary up the left sideline. Backs into Gutierrez, rubs off a Hardeman screen, double teamed at the top. Here is Kirk, who fires a three. Short, rebound Sanders, Fryson inside for Cal. Drops it off for Gutierrez, runs it down the center, angles left into the front court, spins on Gary man-to-man -man for New Mexico. Crab right wing, bounce pass inside, right block for Camp, and he has fouled to reach in on a push. Goes against New Mexico, and it's Curtis Dennis. I think he was actually called for the foul on the entry pass. On the entry pass, yeah, that's a little unusual. First on Dennis, first on New Mexico. Baseline right throw in, 19 seconds in for Gary Franklin. Right corner crab at the top, Gutierrez. Straight on three, up and too strong. And the rebound cleared by Kirk for the Lobos. Up to the right side, Williams throws it away. He's picked off in midcourt. Gutierrez goes in uncontested. Hammer time. Jorge Gutierrez, the one in spike. The steal and bucket and Cal strikes first, 35 seconds in. He might make a pretty good defensive back. Driving in left side, Curtis Dennis draws the foul. They're getting it on Crab for a reach in. His first. I'm trying to stay away from anything football related tonight, all right? <laughs> Understandably so. First foul of the Bears. Baseline left throw in for New Mexico. And it's a man-to-man -man defense for Cal. Gary left wing against Gutierrez. Drives into his right, spins into the key. Has the ball stripped by Sanders. Fryson picked up by Camp. Gutierrez down the center, leads Crab. Drives in left side and a finger roll with the right hand. Cal in the fast break in the open floor. 55 seconds in for Zip Bears. Gutierrez perfectly leading Crab to the goal. New Mexico front court right. Gary underneath for Hardeman. Shot blocked to the rim. Down the right by Crab from the backside. Pulled down by Mark Curry. Here come the Bears. Gutierrez down the right for Camp. Foul line jumper. Sanders Fryson around and off. And the rebound Hardeman for the Lobos. Up the right left side. Gary cuts to the center. Derice Gary off to the right wing. And we stop play again. And shot clock had not been reset since, says Scott Twardowski. And they'll reset it to 30 here for New Mexico. Some shot clock problems and some clock problems early, and Steve Alford doesn't look happy about it. Sideline right, top of the key extended. New Mexico will trigger the inbound pass with Curtis Dennis. 
4-0 Cal, 1839 left first half. Great start for the Bears at both ends of the floor. Right sideline, Williams against Franklin. Freshman against freshman, right wing Kirk, pressured by Camp. Dribbles to his left, cut off the lanky Alex Kirk at the top. Here's Dennis, left wing Williams, fires a three behind a screen. It's off the front iron, Hardiman rebounds in the lane, takes it up strong, down the left, missed it. Rebound, Callen Crab. Gutierrez up the right side, too far, trying to lead Franklin up the right sideline and throws it away. Like I said, Jorge would make a good defensive back. <laughs> well, he had Gary Franklin ahead of the pack, and Gary more than likely would have pulled up and taken the three. I mean, he'd rather take the three than get the layup. 4 nothing, Bears, two minutes in. Backing his, into Gutierrez at the top is Gary. Left sideline. Williams left corner to Dennis. Left block back to the basket. Hardiman back to Sanders. Freitzen pass across for a cutting. Kendall Williams for a lay-in down low right. Yeah, and Franklin uh, just turned his uh, head around and lost his man, and uh, he went to the hoop. 4-2 Cal spinning at the top off of Sanders. Freitzen pick into the key. Gutierrez drive to the right block, and his foul going up. He'll shoot a pair, says Michael Irving. A.J. Hardiman called for the foul. His first and the second on the Lobos. And Jorge had a great night the other night from the free throw line. 13 of 15. He finished with 18 points. Only was credited for four shots from the field. Yeah. He was 2 of 4. And as Todd told you, 13 of 15 at the line. Gutierrez last year, just a 60 percenter. First one is in. 5-2 Cal. He's really worked on the stroke. You can see the wrist action is much better and of course much more confident. The, you know, the more confidence you have, uh, the better you're going to be at the free throw line. Second one rattles out. Rebound Hardiman for New Mexico. 5-2 Cal still has that awkward side rotation. A little bit of a rotation. side spin, yep. Front court left, Dennis at the top, Hardiman. Right wing, here's the freshman, Kendall Williams. Right corner, Gary has a sleeve on the right elbow, drives inside, goes up strong, down low right. They're calling a block of Gutierrez. And Sanders Freisen comes over and spikes it out of bounds. But a foul first, Jorge getting him on the arm. Two shots for New Mexico. Well, the challenge for Jorge tonight is to be aggressive defensively, but without fouling, because uh, Gary Darius is a guy that wants to get to the bucket. And so you have to be very careful because, you know, Jorge is so important, not only defensively, but offensively to this team. Darius Gary, 12 of 17 from the line this year, rattles home the first. Cal leading at 5 3, two and a half minutes gone by. This is his 100th consecutive start. So he's been a mainstay for Steve Alford, as you mentioned, his first recruit. 105 career games for Gary, who hits them both and pulls New Mexico to within one here. Gutierrez will bring it up for Cal. 5-4, the Bears lead it. Gutierrez, career high, eight assists. As Gary runs into Gutierrez and takes an elbow in the face as Jorge is bringing the ball to the floor. Right wing Gutierrez across for Crab left side. Drives in, spins, cut off by Dennis. Outside left for Franklin. His right into the key. Steps back at the top between the legs. Dribble, step back, 17-footer. Oh, a touch shot. Franklin hit it right over Kendall Williams, 7-4 to four Bears. Yeah, kind of a whirlish Durbin there. Kind of did the 360. Here is Darius Gary up the right side. Double team to the wing. Right corner to Kirk. At the top, Williams moves in at Franklin. Bounce pass off to the right. Outside the arc. Gary, double team, right elbow, Kirk, out to the left for Williams, throws it left corner, driving in baseline left, spinning as Dennis, 15 to shoot, Williams around camp on the top, drives into the key, is running to the goal, left it short over lunging crab, Bears rebound it, Gutierrez, two on three, drives up the right side, goes all the way to the basket, and a strong move, puts it up and in, cutting in for the right, into the middle of the key, 9-4 Cal. Shades of Jerome Randall. You know, two on three, take it to the rack anyway. Largest lead for Cal, 16-20 to go first half. Gutierrez with five. Right wing Gary drives it, Jorge. Right baseline, knocks him over, and charge. Darius Gary, offensive foul, third on New Mexico, and a turnover on the Lobos. Well, that point guard matchup is approved to be exactly as advertised. They both exchanged elbows to the other guy's chin. They both have been very physical. And they're not going to back down from each other. This is going to be a terrific, terrific matchup. Nigel Carter checks in for Cal. The junior from L.A., six foot four, the walk-on, replacing Kraft. Gutierrez brings it up at the top camp. Outside left for Franklin. Posting up Gutierrez against Gary. Left block. Backs him inside at the top for Franklin. Quick trigger on a three. Got it straight on. And it's 12-4 Cal. Gary Franklin with a quick release. He has a quick release. He's not afraid to take the big shot, even if you're on him. Bears by eight. 
15.45 to go first half. Right wing in the front court, Dennis. At the top, dribbling right is Kirk. Into the ball game is Jamal Fenton, a 5'9 sophomore from Houston for New Mexico for Williams. Left wing, Dennis outside the arc. Gary to the foul line. Kirk, a right wing, three-point over Camp. Rattles out. Rebound, Sanders. Fryson inside for Cal. Drops it off for Gutierrez, who jogs it down the center. Angles right into the front court. Bears by eight. Foul line, Sanders. Fryson inside Camp. Left block goes up shot. Blocked down low left by Kirk. And New Mexico clears. Down the center, Gary to the top of the arc. Left wing, pump big. Dennis goes by Gutierrez all the way inside. Runs over Sanders Fryson. A charge on New Mexico. Curtis Dennis, his second foul. The fourth on the Lobos. Time out on the floor. 15 10 to go, first half. Cal 12, New Mexico 4. This is the Cal Sports Network from IMG College. New voice messages. Mike, is Taylor, your favorite all pro running back. Man, you missed my 46 yard TD run last night. Dinner with your wife is more important than the team? Whatever. Yo, Mike, it's Buckner, the center for your hoops team. What's with you hitting the hardware store while I'm in a playoff game? Thanks a lot. In sports, any second can be the second. Download game highlights, scores, and stats with the nation's fastest 3G network. AT&T. Rethink possible. Certain geographic other monthly charges and restrictions apply. 3G not available in all areas. See store for details. Barney and Barney has provided premier insurance, risk management, and employee benefits solutions since 1909. In 2008, Barney and Barney merged with Sailor and Hill Company to form what is now the 29th largest insurance brokerage nationwide. Barney and Barney is a proud sponsor of Cal Athletics. Whether you need a seasoned coach to help navigate changes in employee benefits legislation for a star player with skills to lower insurance costs and reduce risk, Barney and Barney is your team. BarneyandBarney.com. Ensure your success. Tonight's game brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. And Coca-Cola Zero, a proud sponsor of Cal Athletics. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Try Coke Zero today. Zero calories, I like that part. Oh, I like that. How about next? Can, can we do with the negative calories? That's what I need. That, that'll be next on the agenda for somebody to come up with that one. Make a lot of money if you had that product. Tonight's game also brought to you in part by State Farm Insurance, a proud sponsor of Cal Basketball. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 15-10 to go first half and a terrific start for the Bears. They lead New Mexico 12-4 and it's been at both ends of the floor, Todd. I totally agree. The defensive effort has been superb. They've uh, actually made New Mexico run their offense a lot uh, through somebody other than Darius. He's the guy they want to have the ball, but the Bears have forced it to go to other places and then at the offensive end, the Bears shooting very well. 5-4-8. For Cal, it's Gutierrez, Franklin, Carter, Camp, and Sanders, Fryson. New Mexico has Gary out there, along with Fenton checking in as Tony Snell, a 6'7 freshman from Riverside, at averaging 4.5 points a game. Gutierrez brings it up the right. Inside, Sanders, Fryson turns middle, throws up an off-balance shot with the left hand. It's short. Kirk rebounds for the Lobos. Gary drives coast to coast, gets run over as he drives into the key, throws it right corner to three, is up and in by Jamal Fenton. Well, that was a good job by Darius. He had an obstacle course drive. He got bumped a few times, but got the ball to the right guy at the right time. Left elbow in the front court. Camp moves it at Hardeman. Left corner. Gutierrez at three. Good for Jorge. Gutierrez with eight. The lead is at eight. 14 and a half to go. First half. 15-7 Bears. Nice pass by Harper Camp. He's a very good passer for a big man. Right sideline. Fenton. Right corner. Kirk. Cross court. Left wing. Snell. Left corner. Gary. Three-pointer. Long. Weak side rebound. Hardeman for New Mexico. Outside right to Fenton. Rubs off a Kirk screen to the sideline. Backs it out near midcourt. Right sideline Fenton against Gary Franklin, the Bears freshman. Bounce pass down low right. Squaring up his Hardeman against Sanders Fryson. Right wing goes to Tony Snell. Drives in. Cut off baseline right. Right wing goes for Hardeman to his left into the key. Runs over camp. Feeds underneath. Kirk down the left. A whistle. Shot is missed by Alex Kirk leaning in. Foul on Cal. Nigel Carter called for his first. And two free throws for the Lobos. 13.58 to go in the first half. Yeah, bad rotations there by the Bears. Jorge ended up with the, on the wing with the guy that had the ball. And he got rid of it. Jorge then ran away from him. Maybe to go back to his original man. And, and that kind of caused the initial breakdown. Kirk 0 of 2 from the line so far this season. Shooting two. Bears third team foul. First shot too strong for the 6'11 freshman Kirk. Gatorade player of the year. Played for his dad, Alan Kirk, at Los Alamos High School. How about these numbers last year for Kirk? 
25 points a game, nearly.